came up today is I'm actually be going over how to use some of the cool stuff that I learned at the WordCamp event. And I actually just spoke at WordCamp. Uh, for those of you who know Josh Alexander, he spoke there as well. And one of the things that some of the things that I learned that was just blowing me away. And I'm just going to show three major things with you today just to give you an idea of some of the things that are coming up. The first thing here <clears throat> that I'm going to show you, and this is my Smart the Start site. I'm not actually finished with this, but I just started playing around with this today. Um, this is, uh, I, I know everyone always talks about having e commerce cards. E, uh, e -commerce cards. And there's a theme by Woo Theme that's called WooCommerce. And I'll put out an affiliate link uh, because it's a free plugin, but there's extensions to the, the actual item. But you can get a free plugin. And I did this all with a free plugin here on WooCommerce. So I'm able to actually create my own shopping cart <clears throat> on my site, and you can add everything to your cart. So these are some of the different services that I offer people. And now instead of me having to sit there and, because the previous thing that I was using was the eShop eStore from Elegant Teams, and that was really clunky, and I just haven't had a chance to update it. And when I heard about this, <clears throat> it made me understand, you know, it's time for me to change some stuff because eStore, you can even see I have it at the bottom here. It's not really working that well. There's some, some problems here. The footer's not working. So I'm probably going to switch over to a different theme, and I might even go back, might even go to the new theme from WordPress. WordPress is coming out with a new theme, their 2012 theme. And from what we got from the developers at WordPress who were there, they said it'll be on in 2012. So... I don't know exactly when that is, but hopefully it'll be before December. So this is actually one of the themes that they're developing, and this is this has some really cool features in here. You can customize the header. You could actually have preview stuff before you actually do anything with it. They also have a back end that's really just awesome. It allows you to play around with stuff, and it's almost like having a premium theme to play around with. The other thing that's great about this is it's supposed to have a lot of the, uh, what's it called, when you, you can change the different screens. Uh, responsive. It's supposed to be a, re a responsive theme, which means that this will work on different types of sites. So if you have, or different types of screens. So if you have an Android or an iPhone or an iPad, this will actually work on those screens as well and work just as well as it would be on any regular computer. A really beautiful theme, and I think it's definitely something when they re finally release it, which they'll hopefully do kind of soon. I know they're in the testing phase right now, that it'll really blow some people's minds away. And I just want to let people know about this because this is coming down in the next few months. We just don't know when because they still have to make sure it's tested and make sure everything works well because they don't want to release it too early. The going back to the Woo themes, however, one of the things that I loved about this. This is a WooCommerce, I'm sorry. WooCommerce is amazing here. I mean, you take a look at some of the stuff that you could actually do. It's, you have a full e-commerce store in the back of, uh, this is a plugin, by the way. This is not even a theme. This is a plugin. It's a plugin that basically does all of your e-commerce solutions for you. And my understanding is that you can use this for as many items as you want. So if you have a 500, 1,000 different items, you can add as many items as you want to this, and it can handle it. Most WordPress themes aren't able to handle more than about 50 to 100 products before it starts slowing down the site. The site is supposed to be able to handle a lot more than that. So I just want that to be understood that this is an amazing thing that they're setting up. The other thing that they're working on that they're talking about is they're talking about scaling. Because a lot of people right now are getting to the point where they're adding so many different plugins, they're having so much cool stuff that they're doing on it, and the problem is it's slowing down their entire site. So what I just actually installed, and I haven't really played around with it because I haven't had a lot of time to do it, is I actually installed W3 Total Cache. And I'm going to see where it is. just installed it. I literally installed it today. So let me take a second just so I can find it here. I 
I think it's a, oh, you know what? I bet you it's the performance one. Yes, it is. So it's right here under performance. It actually has its own tab. Now, for those of you who've ever used w, uh, Super, WP Super Cache, which is sort of the same idea, this is something that's great for speeding up the speed of your site. So just to give people an idea of what caching is, when you're using your site, whenever I go to a different page, so if I go in here to Smart Connections, I want to learn more about what, what I'm talking about here. I can actually hit, click on this, and it pops up the page. Well, think about all the different objects that are on this page. You have the image, you have the text, you have the Add to Cart, which is a plugin. You have all the different components that you go down the list. They take up memory. So what's happening here is that this allows what this smart cache does is it allows you to actually go through here and you, can, you don't have to sit around and worry about all the items having to load at once. It'll take some of the static items like the, the picture and it'll cache it so it just saves the same image so you don't have to load it. It sort of compresses it. Think of like a zip file for your website. And that way you're able to load your site faster. Because one of the things that Google is always looking at is how fast will your site actually load. And this is something that really helps you out. Now that's one of the things it does, and that I want you to understand WP Supercache does the same thing with that. So it's not it's not something that's new with this. But what's also kind of cool, and I, like I said, I haven't fully set this up yet, so this is not finished. But one of the things that I thought was just amazing about this is that if you go to CDN, which is Content Delivery Network, you can actually have content, just like it, for those of you who ever use videos from YouTube, and then you embed them onto your site. The reason why a lot of people do that is because they don't want they don't want to have to store all the video on their site, they store the video directly on YouTube, YouTube just embeds it, it allows your site to go faster. Well, that same process works with all different types of files. So you're talking about uh, pictures or you can talk about uh, like data files, excuse me, all these different types of files work on your site. And now I'm not going to tell you I understand all the technical details of this because I'm not the tech person with this, but what this will do is it helps the CDN, it helps if you want to store all of your attachments in your media library, if you want to put them into, let's just say, Amazon, let's just say they're, they're S3, you can put all of it into the cloud, and instead of it having to take from your database, it actually takes from their database, it goes a lot faster, which is really kind of cool. So that way you're not sitting there and you're having to download every single thing from your site. Everything goes on their database and you don't have to worry about your site being slowed down by a necessary file. So those are some of the big three things that I thought were just really awesome. So I just want to get people's opinions and see what your thoughts are. Thoughts? Comments? Is that a paid plug-in, Andy? Everything that I just mentioned to you, the uh, WooCommerce is free and the W3 Total Cash is free. However, okay. Woo has a well, I know Woo themes is, you have to buy the Woo themes. I mean, I have an account there, but. Well, no, WooCommerce actually is free. Right, right. That's a plug-in, right? Because I got yes. an email about that, that yeah. I could download for the plug-in. Yeah, I'm actually going to it right now so I can show you because what. What they'll do is they'll actually give out the entire thing for free, but then what they do is they have these um, these uh, extensions on the plugin. And I'm looking here to see where they are. So, oh, here you go. So you have extensions here. So I'm just going to open this up. So then I don't know what they are. Let's just zoom on one. But if you want to have like something that does measurement price, it's actually an extension. If you want to have something... If you want to add in like advanced PayPal payments, then you need to pay $50 for that extension. So each extension here, like the slider is another extension. The smart coupons is another extension. Because you can actually have coupons on the basic Woo theme. 
if you want to do Amazon Simple pay, uh, pay or if you want to have a, some of the other different credit card sites, you want to add Z refer. If you have an affiliate program, by the way, and you want to incorporate that affiliate program with WooCommerce, you could actually use Z referral and you could integrate them together. Now you have to have you have to actually own Z referral, the affiliate program software, which is a different price, but that's that's the integration for thirty five dollars. And you can see here there's six pages of integrations and what is this, like twenty different items? Three, six, nine, twelve. And my computer <coughs> stuff. There you go. 21. So there's 21 times, there's about 120, there's 126 roughly items, or 159, there we go. That's a much better count. And you can see they have different items for different things. A lot of them are payments, but there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Does that help you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I hadn't looked at it yet, you know, I just got the email that about I, it. I wasn't doing any real e-commerce type stuff, so I hadn't really done anything with it. Well, you know what? For me, I, because I have had my services listed on Smart at the Start for a long time. The only problem is that the e the e shop from or the uh, what is it? The e store. You can see I even have a parsing error here. I, I really don't like this theme. This theme is it was it's bulky, and I'm, I will switch to 2012 when it comes out. So I'll just have to switch <laughs> over everything in a few months, but I've never liked this theme. It, so for me, when I saw that WooCommerce had, had his WordCamp, I'm like, that's just awesome. I mean, it was just, my, my eyes lit up. I mean, I think Josh was in the room with me when he, I think he saw me like, oh, we were talking about uh, e-commerce stores for another client, and this is just amazing. I mean, it, it takes time, by the way, to fill in all the information here, as you can probably see, but I have a lot of content done, so a lot of this for me is copy and paste. Right. Any other questions? Okay, Rick, do you have anything? No, not right now. I'm, I'm not at the point where I need to do an e-commerce at all, but it is a viable, very interesting solution. We, we all know that Woo Themes is an awesome uh, themes also, and you know, there's some thoughts, but uh, at this moment, to be totally honest, uh, Nothing that I'm going to do anything with, but definitely awesome information. The people in the uh, in the Blog Mafia uh, group that uh, missed out on the webinar will definitely, there will be a few, I'm sure, that will be able to use this information um, really quickly. There's a lot of things you could do with this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the amount of things that you could do with an e-commerce store, they even have some options in here in the products when you're adding different products in here. Here, I'll just show you here. Like, if I want, when I want to go add a product, I actually go in here, and they ask me when I actually, you get to add in all the, the information for the product, and then you go down here, oops, wait, they're too far. They even ask, is this an external or affiliate product? So they want to know if this is an external or affiliate product so they can change everything around, because now they just give an external website and they change everything. So I could even put all my affiliate links mixed in with my other products. Which that's, <clears throat> for, for any affiliate marketer, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. so that's pretty much it. I didn't have like a long detailed thought on this. I just really want to see some of the cool stuff. I mean, that's, I spent a lot of time with the developers trying to understand what the heck they were talking about for two days because I'm not a techie person, so I sort of wanted to hear people smarter than me. And I think I went too smart because I had no clue what two-thirds of the things that they said to me. <laughs> so. Well, hopefully you get a good, clean recording. I'm going to have to take off here in just a few minutes. I'm sorry. Uh, good talking to you, Nancy. We'll talk to you again yeah, soon, Andy. And um, we'll, we'll look forward to some... Uh, Thank you for coming on the call and asking the questions. I'm going to have to go now. Hopefully you can get a good, clean recording. Um, do you need me to stick around for a few more minutes, or, or uh, you got it from here? But well, I'll stop the recording if there's anything else. Do you have any other questions? In general? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I'm just anxious to see the 2012 theme. 
Yeah, me too. Because I sort of when I saw that, I'm like, I'm completely switching over. Because this site, I don't really do that much with, and it's a perfect site to use 2012 with. 